All right, so late last night, I just randomly got the inspiration to try and design my very first ramp. So I created these plans that I'm gonna show on screen right now. I first designed it in this 3D software called Blender, just to kinda, so I could see it all in 3D and everything. And I've been toying around with that software, designing 3D models. And then I took from that design and put it into Illustrator to get all the specs like perfect. So if it goes well, we'll have a flat box that's nice and wide and not too long, pretty mellow, easy to skate within hopefully a couple of hours. So basically screws, tape, drill, we're gonna paint it, and I got a Sharpie to mark off everything. And we got a saw sitting right out there because we're definitely gonna have to saw all this wood. I've got like two sheets of plywood that's four by eight, and then five two by fours that are eight foot long. So hopefully that's all we're gonna need for this build. And the bottom, hopefully it won't be like hard to get onto because I don't have any sheet metal to put on there. Maybe we'll do that later. But as for right now, it's just gonna be straight up wood. So let's get it going. Aaron, get your butt over here. Let's build some stuff. <laughs> that's the top. It's 48 inches wide. So that's the exact width of this. Yeah, yeah. And then it's 66 inches long. So we just gotta measure out 66 inches and mark it. And the height's eight, 18 inches high. So we'll, we, we can make that out of this, out of this sheet here. For this, I want it to be something that was mellow. Oh. Uh, that everybody could skate, oh, not man. not something that only me and you can skate. <laughs> so this is already 48 inches wide. So I'm gonna mark 66 here. There we go. These are gonna be triangular. It's gotta be 60 inches long, 18 inches high, and then on the bottom end, it's gonna be one inch tall. So this can be our bottom, so we won't even have to cut. So 18 inches here. So that's how, how high it's gonna be. 60 inches this way, one inch tall. So if I've done this correctly, from here to here should be, I think 62 and a half. Yep, that's 62 and a half. All right, we could go. I gotta use my geometry skills here. It's been a long time. So here to here, we could do 18 inches and then go down one inch there. And that should be the exact measurements that we need just so we know we're square. Let's do 60 inches here, 60 there. So that starts at one inch. So we gotta go to 19 inches. So 19 there. And then go out one inch here to 19. Mark our line there and we should be good to go. Those are our two sides. It's hard to see on the camera, that's for sure. So we'll cut the rectangle out and then slice it right down the middle. Yeah, probably. The two by fours need to be 47 inches long. Uh, we need nine of them. These are 95 inches. 95 divided by two is 47 and a half. So we just need to basically cut an inch off and then cut what's left in half. Oh, we need to cut two inches off. And either, I'm, I might be dumb. I might have done my math wrong. Yeah, 47. So we gotta cut two inches off. Cut us a temple. All right, let's go outside. You want me to get on one side and you get on the other? And let's yeah, do it like yeah, that? Yeah. Is that high enough, you think? Is that gonna cut through? Barely. <laughs> I think there's a, there's a something in here that turns that blade. It looks like it. It's not high enough. It definitely wasn't high enough. And I also forgot my goggles. <laughs> my glasses. I was getting like just blowing right into my face. No, we, I just didn't have the blade up high enough. We're not professionals here. We're just we're just doing things to get them done. We're making magic happen. You know what I'm saying? Remember, kids, safety first. Don't be like me and just start cutting stuff without uh, having anything on. How bad was that? Is the cut? Oh, it's not bad. You can see where it started. The, the wood started to burn. Though. Wait a second. We gotta cut. We gotta cut it uh, two inches off of one of these. This is it. This is gonna be difficult. How am I gonna push it through and keep it straight? I can't put my hand over here. Okay, okay, we can go get it. Huh? Hey man, I found what we can use. Check this out. We'll just use this saw right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, Aaron, Aaron went to go get us a saw, so we're waiting on him to get back. Oh yeah, big boy. Is it slide? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so much faster. We just went from no plan to no excuses. I forgot to tighten this thing, but yeah, it did it. That's one done. It cut it kind of crooked. How did that happen? Did I not have it pushed? Oh, hey, dude, I see that, man. <laughs> God, we're idiots. I just cut it crooked like a dummy. It just needs to be on zero degrees. All right, that's better. This one's still a little weird, but it'll be all right. Right. 
wear them. Would you like to? <laughs> Alright, that's our platform right there. And then the last piece is the two side pieces. That one's gonna be a lot of fun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything's cut. Now we just gotta put it together and hopefully it works. Let's go ahead and make this a joist here. Putting three screws, one here, one here, and one here. I just hope the transition into it isn't gonna be too bad because it's a it's a half inch, half inch uh, plywood. So there might be a little bit of a bump, but. Okay, so this goes like this. All right, so if you wanna put, I'll hold this. If you wanna put in three screws. Boom, let's go ahead and get this side done. It's really wide, yeah, that's, I, I, that's what I like. Yes, exactly, <laughs> so you're comfortable going up it, you know, that's why I wanted to do it four feet wide. There's gonna be one down at the bottom, it goes down here. I think we should do it, we should tilt it. My plan is to have it sitting flat like that, but we should probably tilt it. What we're gonna do, I learned this from working on these ramp tech stuff, we tilt it up. So we can put all, lay the rest of ours in. You can, so you can apply downward pressure instead of having to sit on the side like that. About right here. She's shaping up now. Cool. All right, now let's flip it. Last one. That bit wearing out. Do you remember how many bits y'all went through with the mini ramp? Dude, towards the end, I was going through bits. Every five minutes I'd break a bit. So I just stopped because I was just destroying them. Because what I would do is like right before I was finished screwing, I'd pull away and it would just break the tip off because it was still spinning. And I was, I think I was just like delirious or something because I had been working on it for so many days straight. Oh, this is done. All right. Nice. That looks pretty dang sturdy to me. All right, let, now let's just see if my measurements worked out correctly and this fits perfectly. Still did one less two by four than I had had in the plans because I had more on the top, but honestly, I don't think we need, we don't need that many. That should actually extend down onto the, on the floor a little bit. All right, I think this cut at the top here is a little bit crooked. If you line it up there and there, it doesn't quite line up at the top. It'll be okay. So it's not gonna be perfect, perfect. Drop one, two, three. Do we have another uh, drill? All right, I'm gonna test it out first. Give it a test drive real quick. It's gonna bump, like it's just cause we don't have any, uh, we don't have any sheet metal, but it's definitely gonna skate. Yeah, it works for sure. I'm gonna see if I can just ride up it without having to let up, so. Yeah, let's see it, Aaron. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's not bad at all. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> oh! So used to like, boom, yeah, right you gotta you gotta lean forward a little. You gotta lean forward a little bit. Like, don't pull back. Ooh, that was weird. It's a little short. That's what I was going to mention. That I feel like if it was the whole length of the plywood. But think about it though. This is even shorter. So you just gotta get used to it. There we go. There you go. Oh, like We're gonna paint this sucker. I brought paint. Let's do it. This was like a last minute idea on my way up here. I stopped by Dollar General and bought these. And I thought two was gonna be enough. I think it is, but phew, there's not much in here. These things are cheap. All right, so we got it painted and we ran out of paint very quickly. And now it's all like speckled. What did Aaron say that uh, it looked like? A paintball, paintball barricade or something like that. Welcome to our paintball barricade skate ramp. Let's try to get a couple more tricks on it. Woo! Oh, 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 that didn't feel good. Oh, almost.
Remember our conversation in the car on the way over here? And I was like, yeah, some of these YouTubers, they make these videos, they fall and they're all happy. It's unrealistic, man. It's hard. Sometimes skating makes you mad. That's just, it's just a reality. It's the way it goes. Oh! <laughs> I'm getting a cramp. I drank too much Mountain Dew. All right, uh, back heel, I think maybe. Oh! I gotta go faster. I feel like I'm going too slow. Oh! Almost came to a dead stop, but I'm still rolling. I'll try to get a better looking tray flip than what I did earlier. It's easy tray. Ow, 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 ow. Dude, I hit my shin yesterday. I was trying to do a nolly tray flip off the little ledge right there. And I did it one try. I hit my left shin and it hurt really bad. It drew blood. Nice little cut there. And then literally the, the next try after that, I hit my right shin. I was like, I almost did. I was like, dude, I'm done. But I stuck it out, I persevered, and I finally landed it, and it was really ugly, but at least I landed it. That was better than the first one, I think. I think V heel, and then we'll wrap it up. Because you haven't gotten a chance to skate. It's like, you've only skated for like a second, so I want to let you get some skating in. So let me knock this out, and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, I was gonna be so happy if I did that first try. Oh! Oh no! Halfway up the quarter pipe, I realized my shoe was untied. And instead of stopping, I was just like, I'm just gonna try anyway. And it didn't work. Luckily, it didn't mess me up though. But that just reminded me, when you brought me my board, it's stupid, but one of my pet peeves at like skate parks is when your board shoots out, you know, and you yell like board, like so people know that it's coming and they don't get hit by it. Is when a kid grabs it, like say like you're me and I'm the kid. Board rolls out, kid goes, picks it up and walks all the way over and goes, here you go when he easily could have just done this. Like that's all you gotta do. You know, obviously I'd wreck it. I'd be like, yeah, thanks man. But when they hand me the board, when they walk, you know, 10 yards to hand me the board, I'm like, appreciate it, dude. Like, <laughs> you did a good job. Yeah, like <laughs> sometimes, sometimes like as they pick it up, I'll go, you can just roll it. Just roll it, yeah. just roll it, bro. Just roll it. it just doesn't make sense to Same me. Down. I don't I don't know, like it's petty and stupid, but it is easier just to, yeah, just roll it back. Nice, yeah, just roll it back, but you know, whatever. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Whoa! Check it out, bro. New stickers are in. New stickers. Except I don't sell them. <laughs> you want to know why I don't sell them? Number one, because I'm too lazy to ship them. Number two, I don't think anybody'd buy them because I'd have to charge like just to ship one. I'd have to charge like five dollars. Like, who wants to pay five dollars for a sticker that's that big? So I just, I give them away. Like I don't sell them to anybody. So every time I order stickers, whoever I'm around, I'll just give them some. Like, especially if I'm traveling to skate parks and stuff, I'll just hand them out. All right. Oh, oh fuck. I'm good. All right. Check it for blood. I'm good. Oh, <laughs> all for one stupid trick. <laughs> that's what we needed right there. Here we go. Garbage. Woo! I think it was a success. It all started with an idea. And I just had to sit down and design it and then execute it. So shout out to Aaron Alderman. We're at his place, his facility. His first time filming here for an exclusive Park Sharks video. So this is the Ramp Tech rink. We're gonna have more stuff coming to you. We're partnering with Ramp Tech. We're gonna get more and more Ramp Tech stuff out here. We've already got, you know, quarter pipes, spines, launch ramps, all that stuff. Got a half pipe over there in the, in the corner. They make top notch stuff. So we're gonna keep showcasing some of their stuff and we're gonna keep doing random fun videos, just builds, having fun, stuff like that. Hopefully we can get some more skaters out here because we've got this whole facility. You can't get more than like two or three people out here at a time. Like, come on guys, you gotta come out to the Ramp Tech rink.